have Rochelle with me and yes, she's clearly as dressed usual. very um, <laughs> elegantly in a gown. We are here at the Gallup <laughs> Extension at Botanic Gardens. So we haven't been here and since everybody else has, we are here to explore it. So yeah. we're gonna do a gown shoot and we'll be showing you all the poses you can do with a long dress. Yeah, which is so my recommendation for all portrait shoots. La. It must have. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. So in order to get like the most, I guess, the most dress, the more, what? Most movement in your yeah, dress. Yeah, most movement in your dress. Like you just got to run and kind of shift it from side to side. Yeah, yeah, so it's not just like always turning and twisting. There's the other ways of doing it, like this, yes, you know? <laughs> Instead of like, hey, then it's very boring. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you, it cannot be just the usual running that you do. But yeah, I can't just be like... You have to be mindful of a lot of other actions. Now we're going to move on to the Asian squat pose. I don't know why it's my favourite, but it just kind of ties everything together because all your, all your limbs are together and you only need to pose your arms. So I think it's the most relaxed Easiest. position you can be in. Okay, so the next pose we're going to do is pretty basic. All you need to do is stand straight and then just kind of sway your dress from side to side. So it's not uh, just standing straight facing the camera kind of static shot, we want to add some dynamic into it. Okay, so another very basic pose we can do with a long flowy dress. Because I think it really elongates the silhouette of your body. So we can just do a like, very simple side view. You just have your hands together in front. Yeah, like it. <laughs> Perfectly Easy. demonstrated. I was just inspired by our sneakers, <laughs> my sneakers. So we're going to do like this modern bad princess vibes. The way of leaning would be just to have your arm as support. So you create some distance between you and the wall. And then so to create a nice line as well. And then your inner leg should be like up. Yeah, you have to create the S curve. Instead of like just a standard, just sitting and looking straight at the camera, you should sit on the side, cause like kind of landing on your hip to create the a bit more of a curve, like of the side of from the side of the body. It can look more flattering. Another thing you can do if you have a long flowy dress is to sit on the floor and have it fan out, so we can see how poofy it is. It's a wrap. We just finished shooting, and I think everything looked very very nice because the weather was very kind to us. Yeah. And the dress was very aesthetic, a very good buy. You can ask her where she, where she got it. A buy from me. Ha <laughs> ha! I think that's all for today. And I hope you guys actually enjoyed all the gown poses that JT actually prepared for you guys, okay? okay she stayed up so, to prepare for you. Yeah, I stayed up to like collect inspiration for it. But anyway, let me know in the comments what pose is your favourite. Yes. And if you are attempting any of the poses, you can tag us on Instagram. We'll love to see it. Yeah, oh my gosh, yes, that would be great. Okay, <laughs> see you guys in the next video.